What is up, my friends, guys and gals, people who know me, people who do not know me. Hope you're doing well. And whenever you're seeing this video, I'm sure you're interested. What does the Russian invasion, yes, Russian invasion, mean for Brazilian exports? Uh, this is a topic I want to talk about. For who, don't, who, for who doesn't know me, my name is Thomas Rad. I'm a, a U.S. citizen. I'm American living in Brazil. I live in Sao Paulo. And I work with the international trade of soft commodities, mainly agro commodities such as coffee, uh, pepper, uh, you know, peanuts, beans, and this kind of stuff, sesame seeds, and other stuff. Um, this is a video that uh, that I'm putting on my channel. That my channel, is, as you can see, is probably if you messed around, it's Portuguese and in English with some videos. I'm going to be posting more videos in English, hopefully in the near future, to get more. Uh, reach into the US and international market. So without further ado, let's talk about what's going on in uh, Brazil, you know, in retrospect, in, you know, in comparison or in retrospect to this war that's going on, this sad war that's going on um, by Russia on Ukraine. So uh, let's talk about it over here. Uh, we know that we have Brazil is a decent player in exports in commodity exports in general. Uh, around the world, um, to put it in, put some numbers in. Russia has imported from Brazil about 1.9 billion dollars in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ukraine is less than a billion dollars; it's not that much. But there are certain uh, there's tendencies in that in those numbers. Yeah, you know, if you because if you put that in retrospect, if you put that, if you compare that with the big picture, Brazil exports 240 billion dollars a year, about 100 billion in agro, and it's a lot. You know, as we know, it's a lot. But if let's let's trickle down, let's go into the details, and tell you what's going on. I had this, I did this in Portuguese. I did this video in Portuguese also, so you're gonna see here some numbers. But don't mind me. In any case. In any case, we got 1.9 billion. There's about 850 million in the like top five commodities from Russia coming out of Brazil. That's called meat, uh, coffee, which is my specialty, uh, sugar, peanuts, and soy. Now, this is interesting. Uh, meat and coffee and soy are supposed to be big numbers. So why? Because they're pretty. Because obviously these are the things that Brazil most exports. Uh, in value, you know, more than five, six, seven billion dollars a year to to most, you know, to a lot of com uh, not to not to a lot of countries, but in total, right? Now, in Brazilian total, uh, sugar is also in there, also. But now, let's talk about now Ukraine. Ukraine is peanuts, thirty million. You know, let me put actually, let me write this down over here in English. It's going to be a lot easier. So let's do Russia. Meat, about 300 million, right? Let's see what I have. No, 200 million. We have coffee at about 180 million. We have about sugar at like $130 million, right? This is all USD exports to Russia. And where is it? My, my my peanuts at around 130 million and then we have soybeans at like 340 million right soybeans at 340 mm now let's do ukraine let's do ukraine over here guys bear with me why can't i pull this up I promise my other videos are going to be better than this, but let's do it. Um, Ukraine. So what's the principal f uh, stuff out of Ukraine? So we're talking about one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, instead of meat, we're going to be doing aluminum. Aluminum out of Brazil. It's about 20 million. Coffee is about 30, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Coffee is 30 million, soy is 90, sugar is how much? 23. So as you can see, it's significantly lower, right? Peanuts is was about 30 million too, and soybeans 19, right? So there's a, okay, so here's the comparison over here. 
Now, when you're talking about uh, meat, coffee, sugar, soy, those are big game numbers. Those are big export numbers that in are all around the world that people buy from Brazil. Now, what sticks out is the peanuts, and that's what I want to get at right now for you guys. Why do I want to get out with the peanuts? Because Brazilian, the Brazilian peanut export industry is heavily dependent on Russia and Ukraine exports, uh, imports. Brazil exported, if I'm not mistaken, approximately 300 to 350 million dollars, or up to 400 million dollars, of peanuts to the world in the last, you know, in 2020, 2021, and 130 million goes to Russia and 30 goes to Ukraine. So if you put that in retrospect, that's about at least 40% of the Brazilian exports, I'm not going to say total production, but Brazilian exports going to those countries. And in reality, after the war, this is these numbers are not going to come back, obviously, as we know why from Russia. Wait a second. From Russia is because of sanctions. It's not going to, nobody's going to leave, let those sanctions off soon. But for for Ukraine, it's going to be, infrastructure infrastructure and development now this is going to be costs for the country after the war is over we hope we hope that ukraine does defend itself but we're going to have to understand the reality that russia sanctioned all the way out the ass i mean we have no i have no idea what's going to happen from this but let's hope you know, they can resolve these issues, but they're going to be sanctioned and these numbers are going to go straight down a pipe. And I don't know. I don't, I have no idea, to be honest. We're going to have to see next month. I'm going to give you guys an idea though. Uh, Brazil exported about 110,000 bags of coffee in January, 2022. Let's see what's going to be February, 2022. This numbers, I'm going to share it like on my, on my uh, social media. So if you guys want to follow me, let's talk about it over there. Now for Ukraine, the problem is after the war, they're going to be develop they're going to be spending a lot of money on infrastructure, tech, development, uh, military, obviously is going to be big shit over there. Um, once this is done, so um, we're going to be seeing a, a downward trend on these all these main products. And this is going to this is going to allow the market of soy of peanuts to develop elsewhere. This is going to allow the market of peanuts to develop elsewhere. And then we're going to eventually, this, the industry is obviously the prices are going to adjust because high offer, low demand. But this also opens opportunities for new markets like Turkey that buys a lot of nuts, Middle East that buys a lot of nuts uh, in general, and see how it evolves from there. So I wanted just to put into you know uh, perspective some ideas about what's going on with uh, international trading between Brazil and you know Europe, you know during this war, and talking a little about a little bit about opportunities and about uh, you know businesses and tendencies that happens. If you guys like this video, please like, uh, subscribe to my channel, comment below, tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see about international trading, whether it's about. Uh, from stuff from Brazil, whether it's stuff from, you know, the US or internationally, you know, just put some perspective on it. Um, and I will definitely, definitely be posting it. So please guys help me out. And I will see you guys soon. So take care.